city of Xi'an dates back over 3,100 years, and during that time it has served as the capital city of 13 different dynasties. It's also the starting point of the Silk Road connecting Asia to the Middle East. Construction on Daming Palace began in 634 CE by the first Tong Emperor. It took over 74 years to be completed, but by the end, the entire area covered over a square mile. When we arrived in the afternoon, we caught a glimpse of this large structure which housed the foundations of the Dafeng Gate, which was the access point to the Daming Palace. These foundations have been preserved in the building and they're quite interesting because they are massive in size. One of the really interesting things about the gate is that very few artifacts were found. One of the few things that was found, however, was the top of a teapot that looks remarkably like the kind of teapot we use today. I find this really cool just as a connection. 1,400 years ago, people were doing very similar things as what we do today. The Tang Dynasty is a time of great wealth and it's also a time of great pride for the Chinese today. The construction of the Daoming Palace was a period that opened up a new architectural style in Chinese building. And this was pervasive after this time period. It was more of an opulent type of architecture that was more splendid and more rich. Next, we visited the Han Yuan Hall. It was a place where a lot of political negotiations were taking place. This is a replica built over the original site to protect it. The casing around the site allows for the preservation on the inside of the original palace structure. The only original piece left is one large carved stone at the very top. Right now, we're sitting on this place where Tong emperors and empresses sat for over 300 years. Yes, Daming Palace is pretty incredible. It's pretty neat to be able to see these amazing views of Xi'an and the entire compound here. You can see all the way to the gate. So the final place that we visited was a miniature of the Daming Palace. So we're standing in one of the most amazing models I think I've ever seen. This is a 1 to 15 scale replica of the original Daming Palace. Yeah, I'm totally blown away by the amount of detail and how perfect everything is here. The scale, um, the craftsmanship, how much work it must have been taken to do all of this. Absolutely, and it really makes you realize how big this entire complex used to be. Really a pretty impressive place. Right, I feel like King Kong or Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> Today, very little remains of the original Daming Palace. But the scale model gives you a chance to see just how impressive the actual complex used to be. Really densely packed buildings used to cover this entire area. The palace itself was not reconstructed completely. That would be considered kind of a desecration of the actual foundations of the palace. And so the miniature really gave us a sense of what it would have looked like physically above ground. I have to just say that today has been amazing. As an archeologist, I am just thrilled to see this level of history and how far it goes back and how well things are preserved here. I'm so excited to see what tomorrow holds for us.